Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm just talking about how to get a matte finish on polymer clay charms, especially when you're using UV resin. If you use UV resin, you'll know it gives a really, really high gloss shine. This is something I love in my works. Love to put it on the cute stuff that I make. I just think it kind of sets it out, brings out the colors. I just really like it. But in some instances, you do need a matte finish or you would prefer one. And this is basically the techniques that I now have used in order to get that. It's just basically one product. But I'm going to show you how I use it, what exact product that I use and how I kind of get the finish that I like with how many coats and that sort of thing. Hopefully this is helpful. If you're looking for a tutorial or kind of a little bit more insight into how you do UV resin, especially for polymer clay charms, then I do have a video on that which I filmed just a little bit recently showing you my tips and tricks, how I get a smooth flat finish, how I get rid of the sticky kind of top coat and that sort of stuff. So that will be in another video. I'll leave that down in the description if that's something you're looking for. But today we're going to be focusing on how I take things from a really, really glossy UV glazed charm into the matte finish. The reason that I do still like to use the UV resin even though I don't want a glossy finish is just because I like the durability of it. It definitely helps to protect the paint work on my charms. It definitely helps to keep the kind of um, eye pin and everything in place. So I like to use the combination of the two things to get the matte finish. I'm going to be doing it on some hot dog charms today so hopefully you enjoy this video and it's a little bit helpful for you. If it is please do subscribe if you're not already. Please do give this video a like. Leave a little comment if you can. Like genuinely it really really helps me out even if it's just a little emoji. Is there a hot dog emoji? I don't know, but leave me one. If you don't want to leave a comment, you don't want to write one out, I just would be so highly appreciative. So yeah, thank you so much for tuning in today and I'm just going to get straight on into it. So here's a little close-up of the charm that I did in matte recently. I did these for myself. I absolutely love them. I probably made these around about two, maybe three months ago now and they're still absolutely perfect. So I think I finally found the perfect combination of the kind of products for glazing like as you can see it's pretty much a dead matte finish like there's no shine on there at all but actually underneath the top coat is pure uv resin and really kind of solid and stuff underneath there like there's no scratching on this either as you can see really digging my nail in there as much as it will go and yeah they're totally wipeable and waterproof still and everything like that like i will just get a bit of my coat which is on the side here like do you see? It's not coming off. And I'll just wipe that off. And as you can see, it hasn't come off at all. And it's still going on strong. So I'm very, very happy to recommend this product now, especially for personal use anyway. I'm going to be glazing some little hot dog charms today to show you how I do it. These are actually going to be for my shop update, um, which probably would have already been by now, but these are the ones that I've got going. So I'm just going to show you this one here is straight out of my UV lamp. So it's still kind of a little bit tacky, but it's like as glossy as glossy can be. If you want to know how I glaze my charms with the UV resin, I do have a full in-depth video off that now so that'll basically get you up to this point what i like to do is just take a little bit of um, isopropyl alcohol onto a little cotton swab and basically just gonna rub off that tacky layer so really really glossy here and i'm just gonna rub off the tacky layer which will get rid of the stickiness as it wiped off not quite as glossy anymore but still pretty glossy and i'm just gonna set that aside just to kind of like dry but these two here i've just done the exact same thing and i'm gonna coat those in the matte varnish now so this is the matte varnish that i've been using recently to get that effect really 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 like this i was recommended this on like a reddit forum someone suggested that like i was asking if anyone's had any success and everything um no one said to layer on top of the uv resin that wasn't mentioned at all but you know that's what i've been doing and it's been working out just perfectly so i get the durability of the uv resin and then the matte finish of this stuck a little open paper clip through the eye pin of the sausage as well as obviously my kind of mini pliers that just hold it into place i to dunk a new craft paintbrush this is just a kids one straight into the varnish just do a very very thin coat just trying to make sure it's nice and even and not too milky in any places really kind of swiping that on very very smoothly i'm now just going to hang that up with the open paper clip to dry take about five so minutes to hang this to dry i am just going to be using a bamboo screw just through like so on my actual tripod that i'm filming on but that's how i hang them up because i'm hands free i can move on to the next one 
same way again with the paper clip posting it through holding it tight with my mini pliers and again very thin coat now that all three have been lightly coated this one's probably been sat for around about a couple minutes whilst i did the other two i'm going to take my heat gun and just blast this over all over to make sure that that one there's pretty much dry before going in with another coat i basically just heat gun it until i can see that this one's dry move on to the next one move on to the next one then i'll go and do the coat on all three of them again so they have those are kind of drying time between the coats the actual product does say leave three hours between coats but i find just this heat gun a little bit and the really really thin layers um it speeds it up okay um probably best results on three hours but i can never be bothered to wait that long i don't know if you can see on this one here but like the rest of it is dried and then i sort of had a drip that's going to leave a quite thick mark if I leave that to dry like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and smooth that now. If there's any white bits, like cloudy bits, that doesn't matter because once this layer fully cures and dries down, that is going to kind of smooth its way out because this is very minimal. If it's too much, then typically you'd have to wash it all off and start again before it cures. But this one here is very thin, so that kind of evened out. And that's what you want to do there so if it's not too bad you could smooth it out if it is pretty kind of you know half cured and there's a lot of it on there and you've used too much product instead of using the thin coat you are going to need to strip it off and redo it but because you've already uv resin it it shouldn't affect your paint underneath it should just wash this off this is a water-based um varnish so so long as it's uncured you should be okay to wash it off but once it cured it's on there as you've seen with the little kind of spongebob and patrick earlier final little sausage is complete as you can see just the glitter is glittering away there but the actual sausage itself isn't actually that shiny there's still a little bit of a sheen on there but we're going to do coat two and coat three in the exact same way i will give you a little preview of it after coat two but this is it after coat one and I'll, like i said i'll give you a preview after coat two and i'll show you again after coat three and that's pretty much all i do So it's now the next day. Hopefully you can see on that, that's all had a chance to dry down. Now it's a little bit kind of um, hard to tell 100% how matte this is because this does have glitter in. So it looks like it's going to be glossy, but that is just the glitter um, showing on through. If you're looking for something obviously without the glitter, then I have the Patrick and kind of special to show you it's the exact same finish just really really flat dead matte obviously just the little kind of hot dog boy there definitely has the glitter in which you can see so yeah very very happy with the finish on these um i just i don't know it just makes them seem so different hopefully if on the screen now i can put like before when this was glossy and then obviously now then you can see the difference hopefully there is definitely a difference in person. It's just whether or not, obviously, it shows up on camera. The texture of this feels amazing. If you do have some little lumps and bumps, like you still use glitter in your UV resin like I do, for example, and the bits showing on through, or you get a little bit of build up, definitely go with a little bit of sandpaper, maybe like a uh, thousand grit or like 3000, maybe just really, really like be buff that. You might not even need to do another coat. On this one here, I had one little piece of glitter that was like sticking up. So a little bit of 3000 grit sandpaper got rid of that. And then I was, didn't even have to do another top coat because it just survived fine. This has been sitting around about 24 hours now. It's feeling really good. I usually leave my charms for around about 48 to 72 hours before going ahead and shipping them out and like actually using them myself if they've got the matte finish on just because I like to make sure that it's all cured and all ready to go. So anyway, I hope you have enjoyed today's video. It was a little bit helpful. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. I'd love to have you here on my channel. And um, yeah, thanks so much for tuning in and watching and I will see you again in a video very very soon. Bye.